In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply a gentle film grain overlay filter onto your image in a static or animated fashion. So first, we want to go to the Effects panel and find in the Video Effects folder, the Noise and Grain folder. So here we have a bunch of options to add noise and grain, and the one we want to choose is Noise HLS. So I'll click and drag that on top of this video clip. And then in the Effects Control panel on the left-hand side, you'll see that Noise HLS effect pop up, and we can adjust a few things about it, such as the type of noise, the hue, lightness, and saturation. That's what the HLS stands for. And the noise phase allows us to animate it. So traditionally, a uniform noise looks like this, and that can be fine. But for this case, we're actually going to drop down that menu and choose the grain option to get more of like a grainy noise. And I'm simply just going to increase the lightness percentage, somewhere between 5 and 10%. It depends on your clip, and the colors and contrast in your clip, and the strength of the grain that you want. Just so you can really see it, I guess I'll increase it a lot like 15%, so you can see. And the cool part about this that I think makes it look nice, is as I play the video, this is just static noise. This is just a thin layer of dust that we kind of put over the video. And it's creating the noise by adjusting the lightness of the original colors. So it's making some darker and some brighter. If you wanted to play around with the hue or saturation amounts, that'll create the noise by adding variations in the hue and adding variations in the saturation, making some more or less saturated. But essentially, I think the cool part about this effect is that the noise is static, and it's just like a layer of dust overlaid on top of your video. Now the other way that you can do this is Noise HALS Auto, which is also the noise in green folder. And the auto just means that instead of having to keyframe the noise phase, like in the HLS one, it'll automatically animate. And you can just choose an animation speed. So but you basically have the same options. I can choose grain, I can increase the lightness amount or percentage. And in this case, it'll just automatically animate at a chosen speed that you give it. So it's kind of up to you whether you want that animated noise or that static film kind of overlay on top, which I think looks cool. But this is a quick way to add some grain onto your image using the Noise HELS or HLS Auto tool. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.